What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Obviously not going to resonate for every single one of you. You're not all living the same lives. So if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs, specifically your Moon and Venus, as this is a love reading. If you don't know your other signs, just Google birth chart. Super simple to find out. So with the weeklies, I don't focus specifically on singles or couples. We just see what wants to come out. What else, y'all? At the very end, I will answer a yes or no question for you. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. If you're on other social media, feel free to check me out there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Alright guys, well this is straightforward. Okay, so you are coming in this week in this Nine of Wands. So you are on the verge of giving up on something here. You're still trying, you're still fighting for something, but real close to being done. Alright, what's this Nine of Wands? Why are you in this Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior? Shit. of swords reversed are you dealing with somebody who's uh potentially verbally abusive or extremely cold and detached yeah queen of swords king of swords reversed so this is a divine counterpart but it's they're reversed <laughs> so it's not going well right on the verge of giving up because it's just really like cold and detached right now um, you guys probably aren't communicating well. Somebody might be lying. It's just a lot of trash talking, a lot of fighting. Um, geez, guys. Recent past the Seven of Wands. This is really standing your ground, really feeling the need to protect yourself, to keep yourself guarded. Now, in the present, you have the Hierophant. This is Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. This is that um, traditional kind of a commitment, like an actual marriage. But I don't know. Something's not right with it here. Let's see. What's up with the Hierophant? Why is that here? The Ten of Pentacles and stability. So what's going on? Why, um, why if it, this is so stable and committed, why is there so much arguing? Why is there so much detachment? Is it just, are you guys only together for financial purposes or because... You don't believe in getting a divorce or something? The Empress, is somebody pregnant? Interesting, Libra, Taurus, Divine Feminine Energy. So this is about growth. This is about um, growing together, expanding. Maybe somebody's pregnant and they're a little moody and you guys are just fighting a lot. Seven of Swords, there's some deception, that's why. Um, somebody could be lying about wanting kids, about being pregnant, about not being pregnant. There's something here. Could have something to do with like a baby's mom. Let's see, what's the Seven of Swords? What's this deception? That's too many. What is this deception here with the Seven of Swords? The two of swords reverse. Somebody feels like they made the wrong decision. What's this two of swords reverse? The chariot reverse. Cancer. You could be dealing with an unstable cancer here or somebody's kind of like, somebody feels like they made the wrong decision here. Maybe settling down, maybe getting married. Um, somebody feels like they made the wrong decision and they're putting a stop to it or trying to. It can also be problems with um, travel. Maybe somebody lied about where they were going. 
Whew. All right, in the immediate future, we've got the Five of Swords here. Obviously, some conflict. This is a pretty, um, <laughs> pretty shitty situation. So, what is the fighting about? What's this conflict about? Somebody lying. That's what it's about. The Ten of Wands reversed. Um, it's like somebody, all right, so the fighting is really draining. It's really exhausting. Somebody might be putting in too much work and the other person's just kind of fucking chilling, you know? Let's see. What else? The Page of Swords. All right. Something's coming out though. Some kind of truth is being revealed. You might have somebody like stalking your shit. Somebody might have lied about somebody and, and you're kind of finding out like on social media or something. Yeah, and the Five of Wands, more freaking drama, some jealousy, some arguing. There's so much fighting and lying in this situation. What the hell? King of Cups reverse, more Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you could definitely be dealing with uh, an unstable water sign here. Somebody who's emotionally manipulative, emotionally unwell. Um, and the challenge here is judgment. This is like somebody's finding it difficult to make a final decision here. Um, or they kind of want to reevaluate it, change their mind. And it can also be a reconciliation. Somebody might be trying to get back with somebody and it might be hidden. Let's see, what is this judgment? If anybody, if you or your person has an ex-wife or ex-husband, I would kind of be mindful. There might be something there with that. And the Hermit Virgo. Okay, so there's somebody here that's been kind of absent in separation, whether it's you, them, somebody involved with you guys, but they're coming back, they're resurfacing, okay? Um, your advice is the sun. This is to make sure make sure everything's out in the open make sure everything's clear focus on your own happiness here i can see that like there's a lot of detachment but you're still holding on uh, might not be healthy to do that all right let's get another one on this the three of pentacles it's about working together being an actual team there's a lot of somebody doing more than the other person here and the magician. All right, focus on what it is that you do want in your life. Focus on that, focus on you so that you can manifest what you want, an actual partner, somebody who's actually going to work with you and not make you do all the work, you know? Let's get you an oracle, guys, because this is heavy and I kind of want to lighten it up a little bit. And this oracle deck's super lighthearted, nothing serious. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to hear? Yoko Ono. Yes is always the answer. Love is performance art that takes place among the clouds. Love is not a dream. You can remember it if you want to. Well, I mean, that's going to be kind of hard to do in this situation, right? It's kind of bullshit right now. All right, let's see what other messages we can get for you, Aquarius. What are we missing? What messages have we missed? King of Winter. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking. Unemotional relationships. Yeah, this is really unemotional. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I see somebody who's emotionally unwell, but you guys are so detached right now. Um, and it could be like, you might need to go to like some counseling, you know? And the queen of summer, listen to your heart, intuitive thoughts you can trust, taking care of others, perhaps too much. Yeah, I think so. Somebody's doing all the work here. All right, let's get your yes or no, guys. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Focus on your question. Okay, here we 
Here we go. Yes or no, Aquarius? Yes or no for my Aquarius friends? Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. That's a no with the Three of Wands. I hope you guys wanted it to be. Take care. Thanks for being here.